Hey everybody, my name is April and her name is Emma. This is the Fury Mom. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. We are glad to have you. And if you are returning, welcome back. We are so glad to see you again. So today's video is Dollar Tree Tuesday and we have a Valentine's Day haul. So before we jump into that haul, please like and subscribe. Join our family. We would love to have you if you like Dollar Tree content. We have Dollar Tree content every Tuesday. We also make a lot of things with Dollar Tree items. So please like, subscribe, keep stay tuned. Keep stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> but um, let's jump on in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which bag do you want to do first? A little bag or a big bag? Big bag? Uh -huh. okay. I'm going to start with the gnome. Okay. Can you grab one? I'll grab one. So Emma requested to start off with these gnomes. Uh -huh. I grabbed two of them. You want to show them the blue one? Uh-huh. Okay. And it says Fuzzy Friends on the tag. Good job. You mm -hmm. read that by yourself? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, they're really, really cute. Um, I know a lot of people are looking for them, and they'll be mad when I say this, but I picked them up for our dogs. They tend to like little stuffed animals and stuff like that. Our cat is chasing a thumbtack. Can you grab that so no one will step on that? Okay, awesome. Um, anyways, back to... <laughs> we have pets. And um, mm -hmm. we have four dogs, and they tend to like little stuffed mm -hmm. animals, and I tend to get them the little ones from Dollar Tree. They still have their little stuffed animals from Christmas. Yeah. Surprisingly. They haven't Santa them gave them to the dogs. Yes. So, um, yeah. I thought I would pick them up a couple of these. Or I have to put them up after we're done, though, because they will find them, and they will want them now. Um... You want to show them your painting thing? Mm -hmm. You can tell them about it. I wanted to paint this, this one, and I saw it because I love unicorns. Okay, well, hold it up to the camera so I can see. She grabbed this unicorn painting mm -hmm. set, and it comes with a little easel and the paint and paintbrush. Uh -huh. She tends to get these like every season. Uh -huh. um, we got. Because I love painting. She does love painting, mm -hmm. and so we grabbed this one. And this one can kind of stay up all year long because she has a unicorn themed room. So I thought it was really perfect for her. She mm -hmm. likes it. Even like seasonally, I like to keep them because it's kind of sentimental. So she got that one. Mm -hmm. I get one every year. You get one like every season. Mm -hmm. Like I know you had one for Halloween and one mm -hmm. for fall. And we didn't see them for Christmas. Or we would have picked up for Christmas. So I picked up two packs of these 12 piece foam hearts. I am a daycare teacher and I decorate with things like hanging from a ceiling and um, 12 hearts for a dollar is really, really good. I do save these for like the next year but sometimes things don't last <laughs> because trying to get it down from the ceiling it rips. Um, so I just kind of bought a real, like a refill decoration. I also picked up the six foot sparkly reflective heart garland, um, just to kind of hang on our window. Also, if I want to, these little circles, like after. Valentine's Day, I could probably mm -hmm. use those for something too. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty cool. But I grabbed those as decorations for a classroom. Mm -hmm. The next thing I picked up, can you hold them? Because I bought two packages, I'll have my whole one. I picked up mm -hmm. these foam roses. They come in a six pack. Um, from farther away, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. From farther away, mm -hmm. they look like just regular. Um, floral from Dollar Tree, but they are foam, which is really lightweight, and the back, they, I think they'll be easier to glue than regular floral from, like, anywhere you get floral, really, but 
which I think they'll be easier to glue down, which will be great for ears and DIYs and things like that. I have a few Beauty and the Beast DIYs planned, so I'll try to use that for that. I wish they would have came up with white because I kind of have a um, Queen of Hearts DIY in mind for spring, but um, I haven't found any white this one good. I'll probably just pick up some white for rose floral for that. Um, I picked up this um, plastic bucket, and it just kind of like, but it's this, like light colored pink, and it says love all over it. There's like a bigger love and a smaller love with hearts in between the loves. Um, this is great to give a little gift in or whatever, really, but I may just put that on my coffee bar. Out. we got this one I picked up this DIY rock for Emma to paint for Brittany for Valentine's Day uh -huh. I you, love painting did you know I picked that up for you no yes I picked it. they had um, three or four different sayings on this one uh, but this one I said you rock before. and um, mm -hmm. yes she has painted rocks before with uh -huh. my mom and I thought that would just be cute for their little rock garden thing and it's mm -hmm. shape of heart it's just going to be really cute for Valentine's Day to give you to her, I think. Yeah. So I picked up three of these nail files for my coworkers. And um, I plan on just putting it with like a thing of fingernail polish. And I thought it would be a cute little Valentine's Day gift. So picked up the three of those. They're all pink and some have hearts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I just thought they fit very well with that one, so. I picked up these two-piece treat sacks from Dollar Tree. I just really, really like the print on them. You could use them, like, past... Oh, they have lines through this. Anyways. Oh, the other one doesn't. But, um, I just thought they were really, really cool. You could personalize it and put someone's name on it and stuff like that. Um, use it for Valentine's Day, use it for anniversary, things like that. Ooh, you know what these would fit? What? Funko Pops. Uh-huh. That'd be cool, like, wrapping for Funko Pops. Uh-huh. I might have to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I picked up these LED lights. Um, they are, they look like little diamonds, pink diamonds. They were in the Valentine's Day section, but I thought they would be really cute for Emma's dollhouse. Just to have, like, lights around the room. Mm hmm And, um, I think that'd be cute in the princess room. Yeah. Yep. We have themes for each of her huh? rooms in... And one of the rooms is a Disney princess room. Yes, I thought that'd be really cute in the Disney princess mm -hmm. room. So, I was looking for these to go along with the other sets, but, um... This is a three-piece burlap sack, and it's just like a red heart. I don't think I saw any pink ones, but these are really cute, too. They will not fit Funkos, though. Um, they are smaller, but still can be personalized. You'd be cute with sacks. If you wanted to do, like, a little gift with the fingernail polish and the nail polish, that'd be really cute, too. I picked up these felt stickers for a DIY. Thank you so much. And really, there's going to be more than what I need, but I can just save them for next year. Or Emma can just put them on random things if she wants to. I picked up these Valentine's Day themed airheads. It says it has white mystery, strawberry, and cherry. So it's like very Valentine's Day helpers. So I picked up a pack of those. Last in this bag, I picked up these Vigor signs, and they come two in a pack. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but for two for a dollar, I thought it was a good price. And it's just these little heart signs. I've never seen these before. At Dollar Tree, 
these might be good like for gallery wall and things like that but one says all you need is love and I absolutely love that saying and the back says I picked you this one is together is my favorite place to be and it has like a little house which is really cute and then Oh, this one would be cute for a kitchen. It says, I love you more than brunch. <laughs> so really, you could put these like all throughout your house for Valentine's Day. And this one says, you are so loved. And then the back says, you are my person. So $3, six signs. You could just kind of scatter it out through your house and just do like a big or a little bit of Valentine's Day. So I grabbed four of these love signs. Um, Dollar Tree has put something out like this every year um, for the last few years and it, ha it has like the shiplap look without having to create them. Um, they come in different colors. They have a red one that says love with a tin heart. There's this white one that says love with the burlap heart. And then they have like a gray one that says home with the O being heart too. I really trying to find the home one because it could be put up all year long, but I haven't found it yet. I've just found these. I bought four of them because I want to take the heart off and just use them for DIYs. You can paint the side and use it and then paint the back side and use it for something else too. It's great size. These are actually bigger than, um... The ones they've been putting out the last couple years, so that's really cool. I bought four. Probably gonna use them on DIYs. So the last bag, and it's kind of a small bag, is just Valentine's. I picked up a box of the Star Wars Valentine's. When you pick up Valentine's from Dollar Tree, they're usually from like the previous year, but um I was fine with that. These are still very, very cool. They have 48 pieces, 24 Valentines, and 24 tattoos. So I thought that was really cool. And it has like old school characters. Is it just old school? Yes. No, there's BB-8. So there's old school and new school characters on there. So I think that's really cool. Next to go with our Valentines, we bought some stickers. So this first pack is um, Valentine's animals, and there's all different. There's like dogs and cats and monkeys and unicorns and sloth. But I mainly bought it for the Boston Terrier. We have four Boston Terriers. I just think that's really cute. I'm gonna have to DIY a sign just to make it look really cute on Valentine's Day. Plus, Emma loves unicorns. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite animals. So, um, she'll have some Valentine's unicorn stickers to play with, too. And when my mom was talking about the Queen of Hearts, it reminded me that when the uh, cards accidentally plant white roses, they go, the, the rose is red. Yeah, that's what the... <laughs> That's actually kind of what I'm thinking of doing in that DIY. Uh -huh. But back to the stickers. I picked up two of these puffy, they call them dimensional stickers, but these puffy princess stickers. Because one, they're really, really cool. Two, they have all the princesses that you can think of. There's Ariel, there's Mulan, there's Rapunzel, there's Cinderella, Moana, even though she says she's not a princess. Um, there's Merida, there's Aurora, there's Jasmine, there's Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. I mean, every princess you can think of is on there. And you don't always find that on Disney merch, especially Disney merch that comes with Dollar Tree. So those are really, really cool. So one pack will go to Emma, and then I'll keep one back. Mm -hmm. I, this is where you purchase, mm -hmm. and I bought this before, but I saw it, and I was like, they're really cool, so I'm going to pick it up again. And that's, um, the 150 sticker like princess stickers they're shiny four ones. pages there's four pages in them and mm -hmm. then there's like regular stickers and like i said i picked those up 
burger swap with and stuff like that. And so pick those up. I also picked up these circle stickers. These are great for reward charts, but I picked these up to um, send out with Valentine's. And I picked up two of the princess ones and just one of the Lion King. But they're really, really cool. And the last set of stickers I picked up has this four rolls of Mickey stickers which you can cut up and gift with Valentine's too, which is our plan. And so, four rolls of Mickey stickers. But that is it for today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is all Valentine's Day stuff that I think we're going to pick up for this year. Unless we find some more stuff. But yeah, that is it for our Valentine's yeah. Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. We are glad you stick through this. Um, please comment below and let us know what you're picking up from Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. We will see you again really soon. Bye. <laughs>